Hello and welcome back to another video of the Halloween update this year, let's go! To get to the Halloween Island, you need to go straight south from Rover in the second sea. I recommend setting your spawn right here. So when you're on this island, what you want to do is you want to farm these zombies. Sometimes they drop the zombie skull, sometimes the zombie leg, and sometimes the zombie arm. And you want to keep farming those until you get five of each. Once you have five arms, five legs, and five skulls, you want to go here. Looks like someone's already put one of each in here. Make sure there's five arms here. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And that should spawn it, just start glowing red, and that should spawn the bow boss. Here he is. Okay, he's nearly defeated. And he drops the bow's core. Some other bow drops you could get include the bow's cape. Really cool black cape. I really like this. You can also get the head of Bell. This looks really cool. They get scared and run away when you use it. But the range is very, very short. And it doesn't seem to work if they block. You also can't increase the damage of this item with stat points. It's just a stunning item. But it's not something you can use to do damage. Something you can use to do damage though is the Hollow's Fang. It has two skills and the fastest M1s out of any weapon in the game. With Shadow Mark you can place a shadow somewhere and once the cooldown is over you teleport back to where you place your shadow. So it's like a reverse teleport. And I really like how they made this shadow copy everything you do like a shadow is supposed to. This is pretty epic. You can also drop the Witch's Key, which is an item you'll need for the next thing. So let's go here. It takes us this really interesting room. And there are a few zombie outfits you can buy. Right here, by the way. 10k. That's also 10k. Also 10k. And the witch outfit for 15k. Okay, so anyway, go up to the witch, and hold out any zombie part, and just keep dropping them in until the potion turns purple. Ah, there we go, and it opens up this magical portal here. Let me check how many uh, we needed to make that work. How many was it? 30, 30... Where's my bag? So it takes 20. 20 zombie parts to do this. Okay. So it takes us to a place called the Abyss. Cross the bridge and make sure you don't fall down, because you'll die. If you touch the abyss, you die. And also avoid that um, crack in the middle there. So now what you want to do is you want to take your core, Bal's core, and put it in here. And that will spawn the Demon Jester.
Right now, as you can see, I'm in the testing server and they set the boss to be a one shot. So the fight isn't going to be intense, but here are some of the drops you can get. So there's the Jester's outfit. The Jester's hat. <laughs> I literally look like a clown. <laughs> There's the Jester's box, it's basically a jack-in-the-box that you can place like a landmine and um, they kind of scare and piss you away, just like the head of Bal. And last but not least is the Demon Jester's Scythe. Now I don't know much about this weapon yet, so I'm not going to talk about it that much, but it looks like great fun. Hope you found this guide helpful. I know I haven't been very consistent, but I've been really bored and out of ideas. But now that there's actually finally a Grand Piece Online update, I'm gonna post some more content, so see you soon. Peace.